car. So now you're 22. Mm. You want to get married when you're 28. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Yeah. Mm. Are you sure you will date this one single person for six mm -hmm. years and not have sex with this person? Mm -hmm. If your intention is not married, yeah. be ready to break so many hearts. Mm. Yeah. So is my lifestyle testifying yes. that I am a Christian? Yes, yes, yes. And, and lifestyle involves and includes dating. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Practically quite well, it involves dating. Yes. So you must, you must, you must know, you must choose. Is your dating also a testimony? Is it hey, babe. Hey. Sasa. Hiti. Mambo. Poa, poa. Koaji. Ika poa, poa. We are back. Yes, we are here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We were talking about the kingdom culture. Yes. About uh, dating like a godly woman. Yes. We talked about um, red flags. Yeah. I was a bit vulnerable with our... <laughs> Uh, up, <laughs> that mm -hmm. temptation, mm -hmm. yeah, that mm -hmm. thing that happened. Mm -hmm. If you're listening to the for the first time, mm -hmm. you need to go back and listen to the other pre the previous podcasts because mm -hmm. we have come from somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's been a journey, but we thank God for the Father that we have come. Yeah. Today we're going to be to continue with where we left off the conversation. We were talking about we've, we've still been talking about dating, and uh, we were saying that there are parameters. Yeah, when it comes to dating. People who are born again do not date like people of the world. We date as if we know what we are doing and True. we date because we know what we are doing. True. And when we look at scripture, um, the Bible does not plainly describe dating, but we can see the pattern. Yeah. And the pattern that we see in scripture, and this we mentioned in passing one time, um, we said that we would see when a man is ready to get a wife, um, they would identify a lady from a certain clan, which is, was within the, uh, their faith or their family. Like God had given the Israelites um, the law, and in the law he had spoken about marriage, saying do not marry from the Philistines, do not marry from the Canaanites, you see. Um, so he has interest in the people that we get married to. Yeah. So in our kingdom culture, in the culture that we are in, God God has preferences as yeah. our father. Yeah. You know, he prefers that we get married to people who are of the same faith. True. He prefers that we marry or get married to people who see them the way we see, who see him the yeah. way yeah. we see him. Yeah. Not that I get married to someone who does not see God the way I see God. Mm -hmm. That's, that is going to be a conflict in marriage. True, true, true. And so today we're going to touch on, on the parameters and on the issues and not issues per se, but parameters and things to look out for when you're getting into dating or when you are dating. And just to mention is that we, as we were talking baby about dating and we yeah. were saying yeah. uh, what dating is, mm. do you want to take that up? Like what, what is dating and when do you get into dating? Yeah. Um, dating should be ideally uh, a grown man mm. and a grown woman. Mm -hmm. Of age. Of age. Of age. What is of age? Uh, Kenya age of age is anyway, you get your ID. <laughs> <laughs> That's 18. Yes, so you get your citizenship. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, basically, that to do uh, would work for marriage uh, 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 as long as it's a male and a female. Mm -hmm. Yet, um, uh, of course, um, you have to consider. For several things before you can move to that, make that move. Yeah. Especially because, you know, you don't want to get married, then you you see this girl and uh, or you see this guy and you guys start living together and you can't even feed each other. Mm. Even feed yourself, let alone the other. Yeah. Uh, you cannot even get yourself a shelter, mm. a home. Uh, even if you get a home, you cannot get yourselves uh, items of the house. Mm. So yes, it, it yes, eighteen it is. But uh, again, you have to. The logic says, mm -hmm. logically, it says that you need to be prepared. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. I know. Um, 
why I'm saying 18 is because I know I know some friend I know a friend of mine they were they got married straight after high school. What? They were high school sweethearts. Are they still together? They are still they are still together and they have uh, they have uh, grandchildren. Wow. Yeah. If I'm not wrong, I think uh, their son their son I think should be is 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 past is supposed to be getting married to as well. Mm. Yeah. So and they're together mm. and they are blossoming and God has really been kind to the favorable to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they've in fact they are very good. If, uh, if the people can see can make a, can make a role model, mm-hmm. that couple can make a good role model. Yeah, I think yeah. it's something because even when we think uh, about like the. I think the the, the, the older generation, mm. our fathers and our grandfathers, yeah. their arrangement was in, in such a way that, yes. I mean, as soon as you become mature, yes. and the maturity was as long as your body is showing yes. that you're now a woman, yes. uh, you know, and that was like from the age of 16. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Now, when we look at the culture where we are in, the God culture, mm. it does not really say, like when you look at Esther, yeah. when Esther was being called, Called, yeah. um, to go into the um, their palace yes. together with the other virgins. Yes. Um, history says she was about thirteen. Yeah, she was a teenager. She was a teenager. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, she was a teenager, and yeah. with all the the wisdom and guidance, yes. you see, I think yes. what is lacking today in today's mm. world mm. is guidance. Yes, what yes, is yes, lacking yes. is that we do not have role models like your yes, friend. Yes, yes, yeah, someone who can stand with you, guide yeah. you, yeah. and also there is something that used to happen in those days. Yeah. Yes. That we had the old women who would teach yes. small girls. Yes, yes. There were those men who would yes. take the boys, yes. you know, sit with them yes. and teach them about yes. culture, teach mm. them about manhood, True. teach them about masculinity, mm. teach them how to treat women. Mm. And, you know, the mm. women would be taught how to yeah. be to be women. Yeah. Uh, they would be taught how to be good girls yeah. and how to be wives. Yes. But I don't remember this. I don't remember being taught this. Yeah. Yes. Uh. <laughs> Growing up, I, I don't even remember ever yeah. having a conversation yeah. with anyone, my auntie, my mom, my yeah. grandma, none yeah. in my family took me yeah. aside mm. to tell me, by the way, now you're a teenager, I can yeah. see your chest is becoming yeah. a bit, you know, yeah. different, something yeah. is happening. Uh-huh. You need to watch out for this and that. Yeah. I only remember one statement mm. that was repeatedly said: mm. "Stay away from boys. <laughs> you will get pregnant." Yes, you get you know? pregnant. Yeah, stay away wonder, from boys. You wonder how now? How? What are you talking <laughs> well, about? Yeah, how yeah. am I going to get pregnant yeah. just by you know getting close yeah. to a boy? I think I think um, it's interesting because if I'm, I'm, I I believe I look back at how I grew up and how I was brought up. Uh, I was brought up in the town says town setup. Mm. It was if I'm telling you, if internet had hit the world, then eh? it could have had hit those times. Because uh-huh. we were brought up purely, not there's nothing different from now. I mean, uh, there was TV, there was phones. I mean, the um, there was a phone in the house. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it was a landline, but yeah. there was a phone in the house. Uh-huh. Uh, there are there are those turntables, mm-hmm. yeah. So I mean, it, it's only that the world had not got into a place where internet. The was information, too. yeah, information. We do not have the information. Yes, but we, we are, have right now. Yes, but we, but I'm telling you, life was not different. What, what I'm trying to say is that, um, as you put it rightfully, that yes, in the older times, uh, in the village, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. where you find the early marriages uh, yeah. set up, mm. and those those ladies who used to speak to this, the the older ladies. Girls, yeah. That's a setup which looks like a village setup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. which works quite well. Mm. Uh, probably, probably would not to, would want to hear more from this somebody who's been through that. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> because I know it's it it, it makes a, it brings a difference. It yeah. makes a difference because you see those. Those uh, that setup was was a system, mm. and it was working. Yeah. Yes, it was working. Mm. Uh, it has brought most of our our mothers. Yeah, uh, yeah. And our fathers, so all of them, grew up in that setup. In that setup, yeah. Yeah, yeah. as yeah. it's our parents who left that setup and came down to towns, and yeah. now they got us. They, yeah. So as we're in the generation which is. Um, uh, has been urbanized. Yeah, and yeah. J- just come to think of it, it mm. might have been. 
I mean, it was not perfect, and because there are there are so many things we've brought oh, yeah. back, we've brought in up to this generation. Uh. There are things, there are still things we do because of our cultures, yes. where we've come from, mm. um, like the dowries. Oh, you yeah, know, yeah, there yeah. are things we still do, we still, but yeah. there are things that were not carried forward, mm. and our parents did not give them yeah. so much mm. meaning. Mm -hmm. You know, it seems that they actually really wanted to do away with them. Yes, yes, yes. Because otherwise, yes, yeah, true. Well, because, because, uh, you know, also it's. Our parents who who now got into the school systems ah, education yeah, the true. white man education yes, yes, yes it's our parents who started yes. those so ones. they learned about free will yes, and you know making yes. your personal your own decisions yes 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 because yes. even then your yes. parents would choose your course yes 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 yes, yes. so they are they are they are they are little they are a bit exposed you know actually I think education is it it enlightens. Uh, even scripture says where there's uh, the entrance of the light, uh, word, uh, it brings light. Yeah, yeah? yeah sure. So of course there was there's entrance of knowledge and it and that brought exposure. Mm. So yes, our parents now said experiencing that and they knew mm. what that that's informed what they were left behind mm. and what they carried forward. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I I know I know things like polygamy. Yeah. Was so much a big as a big deal in uh, their parents' days. Yeah. But I uh, see our parents didn't carry that along. Mm, yeah. They did not. They yeah. did not. Even if they, it's 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 like a taboo right now. Yeah, it is. Yeah. They did not carry it along, but it was very rampant in their yeah, days. Yeah. yeah. It was Most very likely to know. Most of our grandfathers had yes, two, three wives. Yes. You yeah. know, if your elder mom, you know, if you had, uh, yeah, you know, moms you call mama mkubwa and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah, but uh, our parents now they start going to school and. They looked at that as backwardness. Mm. So they came now, got us and brought us into towns. Yeah. Brought us, came to towns and got us in in towns. And now they felt they did not pass that along to us. Yeah. And then, of course, exposure, even when you start going to school, you start now getting to know other cultures. And that's how you got to know the Hebrew culture yeah. or the, the biblical culture. culture. Yeah. So yeah. that's how, in fact, if, if I remember quite well, my great, my my grandmother mm. my grandmother uh, it, she passed on in the 90s and she passed on in her 90s mm -hmm. she, in her 90 she was in 90 years plus uh -huh. in the 1990s mm -hmm. uh she was a believer mm -hmm. she was very vocal with the um, fgm female genital mutilation uh, in the 90s in the 90 no i'm talking about her days when she was I, she was oh. a girl yeah in the oh, wow. 50s and 60s uh -huh. 70s, 50s 40s 60s 70s mm -hmm. yeah she was very vocal ever she was one of the pioneers of uh, women's guild if you know women's guild yeah. of PCA, she was uh, she was one of the founders mm. yeah so yeah so then they started being exposed to now scriptures and biblical learning yeah, yeah. and so that's what they passed on to my parents my dad mm -hmm. uh, my dad got that teaching from my mm -hmm. her mom mm -hmm. and now that my dad also brought us in the same mm -hmm. in the same spirit mm -hmm. yeah yeah so yeah a lot happened mm -hmm. and now that changes now the narrative now yeah yeah you find now uh we are informed yeah true we don't do as <laughs> we don't have so much of that uh, 14 year olds getting married yeah exactly i mean where do you take a 14 year old yeah girl? that's a child does she even come to raise up a home no where she <laughs> <laughs> that's a child yeah it's a child it's a yeah, child yeah. yeah so yeah. um yeah so it's it's not in our setup yeah so to yeah. answer that question mm. What is why? What, when would be the right time to get into marriage? You, into dating. You, into dating. Yeah. You want to ask that question because yeah. that question may answer it in, in a <laughs> in a in a biased way. Mm -hmm. uh, probably because I'm scriptural. I mean, I believe Bi the Bible really guides me in this. Yeah. Um, I believe for me dating. Yeah. I don't date to break hearts of. <laughs> girls hearts uh -huh. yeah uh, you break so many hearts you know yeah. it'll do, it will happen mm -hmm. if, you, if your intention is not marriage yeah be ready to break so many hearts mm -hmm. yeah be ready to have uh, a, 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 a lineup of girls that you've had broken their heart yeah yeah so get it, yeah. get into dating yeah because you want to get into marriage, you have a you have a marriage perspective at at sight. 
if you can't answer that question that you're ready to get married, you do your college, uh, pursue school, mm. yeah, pursue skills, yeah. pursue talents, mm. forget about Imambaya. <laughs> Forget about girls and the boys. And boys. Don't, don't just keep it on the side. I'm asking this because last yeah. week yeah. Uh, a young girl approached me. She's mm. about 22. Yeah. And she this question was this question was bugging her. Mm. And uh, she was telling me that she's going through a hard time mm. because she had just broken up with her boyfriend. Yeah. And she wanted to know like mm. uh what I thought, how long she should take before mm. she got into dating again and what she should do mm. so that she moves on because she feels she still likes this guy. Mm. And so I asked her, how mm. old are you? I think mm. she's 22. She said mm. she's 22. Mm. And I asked her, mm. uh, according to you, wh how you see yourself and how you see your life unfolding, mm. when do you think you want to get married? Mm. She said 28. Okay. I asked her, so mm. now you're 22, mm. you want to get married when you're 28. Mm -hmm. So you want to tell me you're looking for someone, you mm. want to get into dating so you can date mm. for some, someone for four years. Six. For six years. Yeah. Mm. Are you sure you will mm. date this one single person for six mm. years mm. and not have sex with this person? Mm. I, do you not think you're going to break up with the next yeah. person? Mm -hmm. Break up with mm -hmm. the next one. By yeah. the time you're getting it's to crazy. 28, yeah. you have six ex-boyfriends. Yes, yes. And you have probably had yes. sex with one of them. Yes. yes. You know, it's going to be a mess. It's a mess. From now to the time you it's are going mess. to get married. So I asked her, mm. what kind of wife mm. do you want to present mm. to your husband mm. the day you are getting married? married. Uh -huh. That will answer your question right mm. now. Mm. So I told her, analyze yourself. Mm. Think about yourself as a 20-year-old mm. woman mm. who is getting dressed mm. for marriage, mm. to walk down the aisle. Mm. What kind of woman are you mm. walking in as? Yeah. What kind of woman are you walking down the aisle oh, as? Yeah. What kind of heart mm. are you presenting to your husband? Yeah. Is it a broken heart? Mm. Is it a heart, a heart that has so many stitches mm. because you've been trying to mend mm. from where the person who you dated for two years mm. broke your heart? Mm. The other person you slept with mm. and they, they, mm. maybe you probably even got pregnant mm. and you had an abortion. Mm. I mean, so many things can happen mm. in six years. Mm. So many things happen in dating. Yes, yes. So if you are not ready mm. to get married within the next two years, mm. forget about it. Yes, yes, yes. Don't even think about yeah, it. Yeah, pursue, pursue, pursue hobbies. Pursue hobbies. Uh, understand Take yourself. an extra course. Uh, okay, uh, go back to yeah, school. Yeah, go back to school. You're yeah. still living with your mother. Yes. They will be so happy to yes. hear you want to take a, another course. Yes, yes, Take yes. another course. I told yeah. her, invest. Learn cooking. Yes, mm. invest in mm. yourself. In yourself, yeah. Seek God. Mm. I mean, when you get into marriage, mm. it's mm. not your life anymore. You yeah. will have children. You yeah. will have a husband. Yeah. Right now, you can go for fasting for seven days and mm. nobody will ask mm. you. I mean, you have your life to mm. yourself. Mm. This is the best time mm. for you to seek God. This mm. is the best time mm. for you to invest mm. in yourself. Mm. So forget about dating mm. unless you are ready to get married. Yes, yes, yes. So that would be my answer. And I've mm. answered this question again in like, a youth forum. Yeah. They asked, yeah. when is the right time to get into dating? Exactly. And I posed that question. Yes, yes. And I, I tried to use their language mm. and ask them, mm. when do you take items to the market? Mm -hmm. When they are ready. When they are ready to mm. be sold. Mm. When they are ready, you buy something mm. when, because it's in the market. Yes. So if you are putting yourself in the market. Uh, yeah, how many you, how many, yes. How many people will tell no? Yeah, exactly. Hey, I'm not for sale. Touching, touching like <laughs> avocado. You yes, know, so many people are coming, touching yeah, you, yeah. others rejecting you, others mm. taking you, using you, mm. and then throwing mm. you. Mm. By the time the right owner mm. is coming to purchase you, mm. my friend, yeah. you have so many bandages. Yes, yes, yes you're, you're all squeezed and, and broken. And exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, I, that's, that would be also my answer, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, um, you keep, you, you, that should be your, now you know that then you're ready to date if you have that, you can answer that question. If you can answer that question. That are you ready? Are you ready? Are you looking, what is your end goal of this? Yes. Yes, I'm not saying that um, even engagements don't break. 
They do. They mm-hmm. do. Mm. Yeah, they do. Well, unfortunately, they do. Yeah. But it's better if it breaks at the engagement than yeah, in the marriage. Than in marriage. Yeah. 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 True. And so, and it also does not mean if you are the person um, who has spent so much time, you know, you've, your heart has been broken so many times. Mm, that is, yeah. Yeah, that there's no hope there's for no you. Hope, yeah. No, it's yeah. not. It's not like that. Mm. Like if I begin telling my story, you yeah. will see. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm throwing bits here and there. Yeah. Like it's not like um, I arrived here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's been a journey. Mm. It's been a long, long journey. Yeah. Uh, I am still very young, mm. but I am also a mother of a Gen Z. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I am a mother of a 26-year-old mm. girl. Yeah. So you can imagine mm. um, I got pregnant very young. Yes. But today is not about me. Yeah. So we are talking about, I mean, mm. the, the kingdom culture. Yeah. So we've seen the culture where we've come from mm. um, in Africa, and mm. also now there is the God culture, the mm. kingdom culture that, yeah. that governs how we relate to one another, mm. that governs how we conduct yeah. our lives. Yeah. Being a Christian is mm. a way of life. Mm. Christianity mm. is a way of life. Christianity mm. is not a religion. Yeah. Christianity is not a sect of people mm. who are just who just randomly do things, you mm. know, in a Christianist way. No, no, it's 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 a kingdom. Yes, and there is a culture into yes. it. It's a way of living. Yes, and because of how they were living and because of the things they were doing, mm. the 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 people in Antioch when they looked at them, they were like, "These are Christians." Yes, because they are doing things Christ did. Yes, yes. So we need to do things the way Christ did them mm. we need to do things that Christ brought light to yes um, and we do that by getting into scripture yes, yes yeah yes. by getting into scripture yeah. by looking at the people who Christ who, who brushed their shoulders with Christ mm. how did they live their yeah. lives yeah, yeah. how did they govern their lives mm. you know what is the testimony of the people who knew him yes yeah, you love talking about the testimony of siblings, the testimony of people who know you. Yes, the, yeah. the best to, to, to sell, to sell, sell your. I mean, to speak of your, of your, to be your witness. Exactly, and Christ told them, mm. like told the Pharisees and the teachers of the law, mm. do not believe me because mm. I am telling you, mm. I am the Son of God, mm. but believe me for my very works, mm. for the, the very works that I am doing. They testify. Yeah, yeah they testify mm. the things mm. that I am doing. Testify mm. of who I am. Mm. Testify of me. Mm. So is my lifestyle testifying yes. that I am a Christian? Yes, yes, that's a good yeah. question. Yeah, yeah. And, and lifestyle mm. involves and includes dating. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Practically quite well, it involves dating. Yes. So you must, you must, you must know, you must choose. Is your dating also a testimony? Is it, is it really? Speaking up of the culture that you are brought in, yes. that you believe in, yes. that you represent. Yes. Yeah, yes. I know. I know. Um, um, uh, every every part of life is a learning place. I love it. I love life. Life is interesting. Mm. You you might go through things, but you do, you might choose not to teach those to teach another. Mm-hmm. What I'm trying to say is this: you might experience could be different. True, but you you enlightened. You, they bring light to different other another another aspect of the things that you that go through life mm-hmm. so you find your 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 what we might be saying that dating uh the dating uh should have um the right time it mm. has to have a right time which mm. is when you're about to get uh married mm. uh so what if you don't do that and you get in earlier mm. and that's why we're giving hope here today we are saying uh, from our very own experiences, mm. uh, personally, I know I I dated a, a long time ago. I started dating a long time ago because basically because of my beliefs, and that's what we're going to talk about even today. What what kind of what kind what what should inform the 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 the, 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 the um, values of dating? Yeah. What should inform it? Yeah. Personally, I remember um, uh, I was not. I was not in, in God as let's say per se as in God. Mm. I was not a believer, a mm. believing or rather a believing Christian. Mm-hmm. I was brought up in a Christian home, but I was not a believing Christian. Mm. And uh, I was a carefree young man. Mm. Yeah. So a carefree young man who 
thought life has uh, i mean life is there to live and and uh, i was not judging myself too harshly mm -hmm. and so i got to do to, escape, to go through a lot yeah. experiment a lot yeah. but now that one um, um, is a was a good is actually even, even today I say it's a still it's still a good, it was a good experience that taught me life. Yeah. And now what now what allows me to now even to sit back and just I can speak to my children. Yeah. Yes, I can use my experiences. It's good to speak about my experiences to them. Yeah. Not from a point of um, of rubber stamping. Yes. But what I did was legit, and that's what that's how life should be. Mm -mm. It was a it's a place to give them experience. Yeah. To let them know mm -hmm. that a man can make a decision. Yeah. Yeah. A man can can stand up, get to a point and be and stand up and say, "This is not right. Mm. This is the way to go." Yeah. And so today, even as looking at my past and even where I am now, mm. I'm am st standing. I'm saying to, today I can stand and say, mm. "When you date, yeah. there's some values you should have." Yeah. Uh, regardless of what I pass through myself, yeah. I know mm. now I can say authoritatively mm. that there's value. Yeah. There's some values that culture value that you need to follow yeah. when dating, and so in, that's why I answer my questions. I, I I speak of my 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 outlook that it could be biased because of what now I've learned from life. Yeah, it's a good place to to be because um, um, it means I can relate. Mm. Yeah, number one, I can relate. I cannot yeah. intimidate. Yeah, I can share without intimidating others. Yes, yes. Because I relate. Yeah. yeah. And uh, this is it. So, um, why then do we answer the question of dating and cu culture or to dating? Mm -hmm. Is because there are values that should be answered when yeah. you're dating. Yeah. Not that that uh, I wouldn't have answered the same way in my younger years. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't have answered the same way. Yeah. But again, also, I know my my life changed early. Mm. Thank to God yeah. that I did not waste my youth. Mm -hmm. I noticed my youth so much, uh, the first part only. But the, from when I picked up, mm -hmm. I moved out. I moved away and came into the knowledge of light, mm -hmm. and this is the knowledge of scriptures. Yeah, at least in my youth, not I was not. I not. You didn't waste. I didn't waste youth. my youth. Yeah. So yes, now I'm. I, I can. I know. I can weigh between the two. I can mm -hmm. say yes. This is life happens this way. Yeah. Mm. But it should, and also it happens this way. Yeah. And between the two, I. Between the two, yeah, I, 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 I balance towards the side of mm -hmm. Christianity and rules and a culture of of the believer. Mm. It's a good place to be because it sobers up. Number yeah. one, it sobers up and uh, it clears a lot of. Uh, what do you say? It clears a lot of uh, uh, misunderstandings. It clear. It gives direction. It's guidance, as you're saying, baby. You said uh, it's we didn't have guidance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Be, uh, people don't have guidance. Yeah. The generation that has no guidance, they 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 suffer. They yeah. they perish. Yeah. But we have guidance. Yeah. And so the guidance, our guidance, is what has led us, led me to this point where I can say, now then, let's look at it and answer this question that I need to date, mm. when I think. I, I'm ready to get married. Mm, mm. I know, I know, um, you know, like even you see the Hebrew man, yeah. the Hebrew family would date. Mm -hmm. Th these are places where you found, um, what do you call it, uh, re arranged marriages. Yes, yes. Yeah? Yeah. So this family has got a baby boy and this family has got a baby girl. Yeah. And that's from the, most likely they're from the same clan. Mm, also. Mm. They never used to marry away from the family. Yeah. So you find the, uh, they are, they're brought up with values, yeah. teaching of the Hebrew uh, culture, yeah. and again they're being introduced to one another, and, yeah. Yeah. and then at the end, when they, now they, they even understand, they come to understand that yes, they were being prepared mm -hmm. as an item. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So even when it comes, it, it I think even they, it's 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 interesting because when they start the family, two families start exchanging. Things like gifts, they become yeah. so tight. Yeah. They start exchanging gifts and even become, uh, they, they do things together. Mm. And then 
even as they continue looking at the two of them, how this girl and this boy, how they behaving, how yeah. they growing up, are they becoming? So the parents would yeah, know that this person know. is going to get married. Yes. I mean, this. my boy is going to get married, yes. and they would even talk about. Yes, they talk about it. Parents. Yes, yes, yes. So it, even the arranged marriage, it's arranged yeah. to us. We looked at, we look at it as yeah. it is arranged, but it's clearly predestination. Yes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's and, the, it's yeah, it's predestination. Yeah. Like yeah. you're born, and the yeah. girl is born, yeah. and the families are like, mm -hmm. yeah, we have mm -hmm. a son here. Yeah, yeah. Even today, uh. parents joke. Uh. Yeah, we joke. Like yeah. you go to school yeah. and you're visiting, uh. and uh, you see your friend, yeah. and they have a girl, and you're like, yeah. ah, I have a son. Yeah, let you know, let him boozy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is something that it's, yeah. it's still somewhere yeah. in our subconscious yeah. that yeah. this yeah. is actually something that was done, yeah. and it's doable yeah. today. Yeah. As you were talking, you took me far and oh. <laughs> you know i started thinking about how oh. Oh. how we were grafted in the family of yeah. god yeah. you know how mm. we were mm. we were enemies mm. of god and yeah. how we were mm. you know gentiles yeah. still are gentiles <laughs> we did not become <laughs> no. become jews no. when no. we got born again yeah. we are gentiles no. and just being born into the family of god yeah. it's such a privilege mm. that we have been grafted mm. in the family of God yeah. and now mm. we are children of Abraham yeah. and children of Abraham we've come into this mm. family mm. the family of God mm. and you know we, we cannot bring our culture in his family uh -huh. No, yeah, we cannot be, bring mm, the Agekoyo culture no, in a Hebrew home no, and say, you know, mm, yeah. <laughs> this this is what we used to do, mm, so we have yeah, to do this. Mimi ni wanyo So, yeah. no, I mean, God, there's a culture in the family sure. of God. Mm. I cannot import yeah. my culture, just bring it into the family of God. And one of the cultures that mm. we have really uh, tried to talk about, even mm. as we are talking, is marriage from your family ah not be equally yoked. <laughs> and equally yoked, yeah. And equally yoked. Yeah, yeah. Marry from your family. Yeah. Marry someone who calls your daddy dad. Yes. You know? Yes. Someone who understands this grafting. Yes. Someone who understands that we were fallen. Yes. And it is by the grace of God mm. that we are who we are. Mm. It is by the grace of God that we are where we are. True. Not that someone who will come with his different culture. Mm. Like I know of a woman... Mm. I don't know her, but I sat in a meeting. She was giving a testimony a mm. while ago, maybe 15 years ago. Mm. I still remember this mm. because it was, it, she was crying and it was emotional as she oh, was no. speaking. Mm. And she was saying that she was a Christian girl, you know, but she happened to, you know, know this uh, boy who was uh, from uh, another religion. Mm. And they later got married. Wow. And she really was scared about it. She did not want to get married to this person. Mm. But I think the the families, mm. the families were okay mm. with them getting married mm. because they thought they can agree. Mm. We can agree. You go to the mosque, you mm. go to the uh the, the, the temple the temple mm. you know on on friday or mm. whatever it is mm. and you go to church on sunday mm. and then we meet at home mm. you know you practice your beliefs but when we come home mm. let us just be a family yeah. and they thought they would be able to work it out uh, now. during dating uh, so when they got married mm. this person mm. is governed by the culture of mm. their religion mm. and the culture of their religion allows them to mm. marry multiple yes, wives yes, 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 yes. and so she's here mm. she's like no i cannot like no, but this is my culture. Mm. So what are you going to do about it? Mm. So religions come with culture. Yes. Even those people who are not born again, mm. they have a culture. Yeah. And, and their culture is, you know, if you're my girl. Yeah. We yeah. can we can have sex. What yeah. are you telling me? Yeah. We can we can have sex. Mm. You're my girlfriend. Mm. Yeah. What does it mean? Yeah, I mean, I'm 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 feeling attracted to you. Yeah. Attracted to me. I'm yeah. a man. You're There's a woman. Chemistry. What else? Yeah. Yeah. If I touch you today or after the wedding, you yeah. still it's still the it's same, still body. The same thing. What, yeah, yeah, it's still the same thing. Yeah. Why are you telling me to wait yeah. until marriage? Yeah. No, mm. you see, there is a culture in the world. Mm. There is a culture in the other religions, mm. and so it is dangerous mm. to think mm. that you can work it out. No, yeah, it is. It is. And she was crying because mm. because she was refusing for mm. the husband to marry, ah, yeah. but he mm. went ahead and married up to the third wife. Wow. wow. And it was not okay with her. It was not. She was not comfortable. Mm. And because of her opposing the man, mm. she started being 
uh, beaten. Mm. So there was violence in the family. Mm. So she really suffered until she had to run away. Mm. And for them, they also don't believe in divorce. Mm. You know, they believe you can divorce, but not the wife to ask for divorce. Ah, yeah, so, yeah, mm. it's the man who should send you away. Mm. Not you ask me. Mm. Why are you asking? No, I own you. Mm. So, until ah. I decide I want to, you know, uh, put you away, uh, there's nothing you can do. Mm. So it was very hard on her. And that is where I learned that, you know, cultures, mm. every denomination, not denomination, but uh, religion yeah. has a culture. Yeah. And that is why even as I was talking about Christianity earlier, I said Christianity mm. is not a religion. Mm. It is a way of life. Yeah. It is how we conduct yeah. ourselves. It is how we conduct our affairs, mm. not because we have a set of rules, yeah. but it is because we know ourselves, we mm. know who we are, we mm. know whose we are, mm. and we know the kind of uh, principles mm. that govern the kingdom that we are true, of. True, true, true. Right? Mm. So one of it is your king. Mm. You know, your king with non-believers, mm. your king with people mm. or a person mm. who does not believe an equal mm. ah, yeah. mm. does not believe in the mm. god that mm. you believe yes yeah it's it's not going to work mm -mm. there is absolutely no way mm. because of the culture not mm. even because of this person mm. this person might be good mm. but he's governed by a culture yeah there's a culture that governs him mm. and he is not the police of yeah. that culture yeah. his family is the police mm. yes there are leaders yes. in his life that Mm. are the police of that culture mm. to make sure that he follows yeah. the culture to the letter. Yeah. So coming into this relationship with this person, mm. you are actually entering into a jail cell, yeah. locking yourself in yes. and throwing the key yes. in the pit. Yes. Yes. So yes. it's a very, very dangerous place to be. Even a person who does not believe in anything, mm. someone who says, ah. <laughs> everything goes <laughs> everything goes mi bora niko la kazi yangu i work hard eh bora hai eh bora hai mimi niko sa you to go to church mm. you go to church mm. you will have issues when you come to the house you mm. will have children and yeah. he will be like no They're i don't believe in yes. anything so yeah. don't teach your god to my children wow. i have no problem with you praying mm. but i have a problem with you mm. introducing that god to my, my children, children. Yeah. but those children are your children mm. both of you mm. so if you don't see that mm. during dating yeah. it's going to be a problem yeah when you get into marriage yeah. hey baby it looks like we're still going yeah so let's um you have final thoughts or we continue next friday with uh, uh, this um uh, yeah I, just to just to clarify so that uh, we end up uh, the 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 hebrew point comes out clearly yeah even so that the child the the, 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 two, the two, two children are, are pre predestined to marry yep. they have been the families have agreed that the two have been brought up to get to get them married later yeah yet um yet um uh that is not our culture that's not our culture um as we still have our identity our still our where we come from yeah uh culturally yeah and 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 so we don't have um we the, those laws that apply for the Hebrew yes surely does not apply for us. us yeah yeah um yet i know the uh, apart from just not just the hebrew even some other other religions also still who uh, make arrangements mm. or not religious but a cult, cult uh, other uh, cultural beliefs yeah. like i know i know the the asians they mm. also have they also have uh, the same kind of arrangements yeah yes they do mm. and uh, so it's more it's like it's 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 even there in with us now it's mm -hmm. it's a real thing that mm. people can be arranged for but um i think even if you if you talk to somebody like that mm. they still don't get the privileges mm -hmm. <laughs> they still they still have parameters that that uh, they should keep mm -hmm. yeah even though they are, they have been set aside for marriage yeah. they don't have relations True. They don't have relations and, until, and, they, until get they get married. Yes. True. Until they get married. Yes, yes. It's so deep that even in the on the some cultures in the marriage day, yeah. the wedding night. The father waits for the bed sheet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the father waits yeah. for the bed sheet. Yeah. If it's not bloody, yeah, if it's not bloody, then, uh, yeah. you are cheated. Yeah. 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 So yeah, so no, I, I think if 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 that was what was allowed in the Hebrew, mm -hmm. God must have allowed it. Yeah. 
He believed in purity. In purity, yeah, too. God, God believes in purity. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, so yeah. purity is key. Mm -hmm. It is key to get married to someone who believes. Yes, in your. Who believes in not believes in your God, but who knows God? Who knows God? Who knows God? Who is a Christian? Yeah. Who is a believer? Mm. And one who is a Christian, yes. meaning that he, his work is governed mm. by scripture. scripture. Thank you so much, everyone, for staying tuned mm -hmm. to the Rukenyas. Yeah. We're coming back uh, on Friday and we will talk about this. We will continue with this conversation, the parameters in dating and uh, the kingdom culture. And I'm sure... <laughs> You'll be so blessed. Thank you for everyone who has been commenting, calling us. We've received calls, many yeah, calls. Yeah. People just saying thank you for, you know, opening up and for sharing our hearts out yeah. and uh, for getting vulnerable with, with our story. Yeah. So we really appreciate your your company yeah. and uh, your comments. Yes. So thank you very much. Right, bye. Yeah. Bye, guys. See you on See Friday. You. Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. Mm -hmm. bye.